Hello guys, uh, grace and peace of the Lord Christ to you. Uh, again, I'm going at another round with the Stallion 76. This time, um, checking out his video, Venom Fang X Truth vs. Scandal. But before I do that, um, I would like to request for the Stallion to have round two in a debate on Stickam. Uh, round one was pretty good. Unfortunately, we were sitting in that room for like 20 minutes, and I had to go at 10. Um... <clears throat> Because, of course, I told you that my family is sleeping and uh, it keeps them up when I'm on the mic. Uh, well, my little sister, that is. Um, now, I hope this time in round two you give me your best shots. Come on, the Stallion. I hope that wasn't your, your toughest questions. Numbers 31, free will and God's God knowing what we will do. It, Man, those were so simple. I want your best questions. And this is why, before you kicked me out of the room, uh, I had a challenge I was typing up, and now I'll say it right now, to send me a video with your top three questions. Actually, I, can't, I don't think I can fit that in a video. How about you send me a video um, with your... with your number one reason why you're an atheist and you reject Christian... Uh, doctrine and Christian theism and we'll take it from there back and forth I find that even with three questions ten minutes isn't enough time to get through them all uh, in depth and really biting into the issue um, or I'll just uh, maybe join you in Stickham the next time you're on if I have the chance to anyways let's 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 listen to this video Uh, it's funny how you said that you don't make videos attacking Islam because of all the death threats you get. But, oh, when it happens to Venom Fang X, oh, it must not be that, right? Or did something else happen? I figured... Here's what I think happened. It was atheist. Just like how the atheist uh, posed as being Christians and got your account taken off YouTube, the stallion. Oh, but mm, how about you continue defending them? Yeah, sure, no problem. I think that it was atheists that got a hold of his uh, accounts and wrote an Islamic death threat, an Islamic-style death threat, I should say, and uh, sent it to his parents, trying to get him to shut him down. Because as we see, uh, the accounts on here his accounts mocking Venom Fang X are all done by atheists. Now, that's just what I think, and that's just a theory. No more credit than what your theory is that he got in trouble and took it down. It's the same amount. You have no evidence for what you're saying. I have no evidence for what I'm saying. Or it could be that he got a, a death threat from Muslims, because as we know, he has lots of videos attacking the Islamic faith, using their books, using their references, showing that it's false. And he uses, and we, when we, when we understand the Quran, we go by what their scholars say. Al-Jalalin, al um Sahih Bukhari, we go by their books. When you try and disprove the Bible, you go by what your own opinion and what your own bias is. And actually, from so far debating you and making videos about you, you say actually the opposite of what the Bible teaches. And it's very easy to prove what you're saying is false and all a bunch of lies. But that's another topic. Being the person that I am, a skeptic, I would look into the information. I would look into the clues, things that are put forth, and I found something. I found something pretty interesting to find out what actually happened, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, this is www.venomfang.com. Xsite.com. Wonder why he added the site part to it. You know why he probably added the site part to it? Because atheists made websites called VenomFangX.com completely mocking him, and so he added the site. That's just a theory. Perhaps that answered your question. Why didn't you just call it Venom 
I'm saying x.com now if you scroll up it says let's see benhamfangxsite.com right here is some text right where people were able to log in and all that it says this site has been taken offline by the parents of Venom Fang X. They don't support slash share his views and apologize if he has offended anyone. This site will be offline for good in three days. Three days? That's like the same amount of days that old baby Jesus died and resurrected according to Christians. How ironic. Now, my thing is that I wonder here, ladies and gentlemen, that let's say, for instance, that I've got a threatening letter from Muslims or something, and I got so terrified that I actually turned off my own website, which would be keenvision.magnify.net. I had to throw that plug in there. If it was because of threats, um, I'm thinking that there would probably be the text should read like this. Holy fucking shit, ladies and gentlemen, I got to fucking hide in a bunker or something because Muslims are coming to get me. And me and my parents, we're all fucking nervous and scared and frightened and shit that all the horrors of the world is coming after us because we believe in Kent Hovine. Hmm. But instead, it reads, we don't support our child's views nor share his views and apologize if he's offended us. I don't know. It doesn't sound like these parents of Venom Fang are too scared. It doesn't sound like they're horrified in any way. It sounds like they're mainly irritated or aggravated with what Venom Fang has been doing. Listen to that one more time, ladies and gentlemen. Let me repeat that. They don't support slash share his views and apologize if he's offended anyone. doesn't say anything about we got some disturbing threat mail. It doesn't say we got some disturbing shit. Well, is that any of your your guys' business? That they got threat mail? Now, let me pose this to you. The stallion, the skeptic, as you say. How do you know that the letter didn't read... Um... Unless you get Venom, your son, to shut down uh, his sites in three days, we will blow up your house, well, whatever, we'll blow up your house or we'll hold you guys ransom. And remember, he said that this uh, Jesus freak told us that this um, uh, uh, death threat was for his parents. And that's why his parents say we don't agree with his... Uh, uh, opinions and um, uh, his views and so they shut it down because of that now also I did say in one of my earlier videos that if it was him doing up to no good doing things that he shouldn't have been doing that I hope he gets justice but I'm not going to go and completely speculate things that I have no proof about and slander the guy people that have been sitting here talking about that other Venom Fang website that's up on YouTube, those are all old videos by Venom Fang of some people who love me. If you smell what the Venom Fang is biting. All right. It's crazy. Well, I was running low on time. No. Okay, so that's my contention about it. You don't know what the death threat letter said, and perhaps they're just following what it says. And also... Maybe it said, don't mention that it was Islam that did this, and that it was Muslims, so that Islam doesn't look bad, because, you know, they used to show, they used to videotape the beheading of um, uh, news reporters and different people, but then when they realized that that was making Islam look evil and it was such a stupid thing for them to record that, they stopped recording it. But do you think that they've stopped doing that? Absolutely not. They still do that.
They just don't record it because they've realized how stupid it is to do that. So all you're doing is having complete speculation and slandering his name. You think you've researched into it? All you've done is try to log in the website and it says you can't. Maybe these are the reasons he gave the, the people who he pays to keep this website running. So, and that it takes, uh, that, that they're deactivating it in three days. Anyways, if he did wrong, well, he, he will get justice for that. If not, stop slandering the guy.